up and welcome back. Funny enough, I actually forgot about this puzzle. I ordered it back in December, had it delivered to me while I was in Vancouver. It was in a box and I discovered it. I was like, oh my God, I forgot about this. This is a really neat looking puzzle I found on Etsy. The maker by the name of Ivan, uh, I believe he's out of Italy. And uh, this is called the Impossible Box. So for those of you thinking this is clickbait, it's the actual name of the box is Impossible Box. Alpha Impossible Box. By the way, this video is sponsored by First.Shop. Without any further ado, let's get into solving the impossible box. Here we go. Came with this letter and the letter reads as follows. Hi Chris, thank you for giving me the opportunity to grow, promote and implement a project that was a simple dream. Here are some rules. External tools are absolutely not required. Your mind and hands are enough. Three, insert the batteries, no light on, under the box and proceed to find the solution to activate and open the box. Phase one, activate the box, turn the light on. And phase two, open the box. Remember the correct parts when you reassemble the box. Good luck, Ivan. Thank you, Ivan. We have the batteries right here. One, two, three, and four. Huh. There's no indication that this is on right now as all the lights are off. So all four sides. Ugh. Cheers. I don't know how much we'll use the top angle on this, um, but just in case. All right, so on the back side, we have what seems to be two little drawers here. These things move a little bit. And then we have this plate here with some bolts. Here as well, we have two little portions that might come out. And we have this grid here, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So that is seven by seven with screws on the inside and little lights. I'm expecting there has to be some type of electronic connection there. On this side, we have an insane amount of what looks to be random numbers. There might be a pattern here. I'm seeing a pattern, 17, 56, 97. 56, 97, 56, 97, 56, 97. So there is like some type of pattern here. I don't fully understand what that pattern is yet. And over here we have knobs with the numbers one over them. And on the top, as you can see, we have these buttons or knobs. They don't turn and they can't be pressed in and they also have what seems to be are these lights it's our little dots not entirely sure and a key and then this is alpha here so I want to start here okay that goes almost all the way around but not completely. So seems to be some type of sequence. It really feels like it's the only thing I can do right now anyways. Um, again, I think this obviously, I don't think it's random. This is a puzzle crafter. There has to be some method to the madness here. And by the way, this is a lid. This lid will open at the end. As you can see, there are some hinges here. What about where the ones are placed here? Is that some type of indication? Because these all say one. So maybe like the first one's one seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, then we have, I guess if we go this way, we have one, 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 seven again. And one, nine. That was worth a shot. Apparently this is super difficult. There's a reason it's called the impossible box. This really does seem the only thing, seem like the only thing we can, we can do right here. These look like connectors. Like if I, I put two wires here or something, they might uh, light up. Okay, why would there be four? There's four of them and they all have the number one. Is there anything here that has four, these bolts? Ah, they all have the number one. Okay, what about 17? How many 17s are there? One, two, three, 
four. One, two, three, four. There are only four 17s. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six, seven. Okay, maybe I have to find four of each. So one seven. Um, how about 11? How many 11s are there? One, just one. How about 13? How many 13s are there? Doesn't seem to be more. Imagine it was just the batteries that weren't placed correctly. Oh my God, one of them wasn't placed correctly. Just checking to see if the lights on this side would illuminate. Is this thing on? I see why they call it the impossible box. <laughs> We're 12 minutes in with uh, without anything yet. Um, I really, the, the, here's the thing. I really don't want to try trial and error because here there are what? Uh, so 12 times 12 times 12 times 12. There are 20,736 possibilities uh, if I go trial and error, which tells me I should not go trial and error that there is another way of obtaining this information. Um, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. <laughs> Why would there be four ones? Is there a row that has four ones? This one has three, this one has one, one, this one has two, four, this one has four, okay. Any other ones? This, one has, this one has four as well. Okay, let's try this. Here we go. Uh, three, three, two, five. Okay, that's a no. Maybe if there are numbers in a square pattern, because we do have a square pattern here that have ones, I'm really reaching for bits here. Uh, we do have corners and every corner except one has one. This one has two, eight. That would have been good. Let's look for a square pattern. Oh, we got three here, so close. Hmm, I feel like that would have been a good solution. I'm looking at these numbers like the like a beautiful mind right now. <laughs> it's just trying to put together some type of code. Now again, 17, or sorry, 72, 97, 72 appears here and here. So there is like a mathematical code here, 17, 92, okay. 97, 72, 97, 72, 97, 31, 17, 56, just doesn't make any sense. This has got to be a math problem. Maybe it's finding the error in the pattern. So it goes 17, 56, 97, 72. Then it goes 37, 56. So instead of a 17, it's a three. 56, 97, 42. So instead of a, a seven, it's a four. 31, 56. Instead of 37, 56, it's 31, 56, 97, 72. 31, 56, 97, 72. So the error here, Assuming that the 17 is right, 17, 56, 97, 72, 37, 56, 97, 42. So they're blocks of four. So 17, 56, 97, 72. If that is my pattern, then that one's off by two, or would I have to input the three? Let's input the three. Let's input the seven here, because the seven's wrong. I guess we input the three again. This is driving me nuts here. There's something that moves here. Maybe, maybe I'm missing something. Oh, 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 oh. Here we go. What is this? What is this? That's what that looks like. Looks like somewhere to put a plug. And there's a light as well. Hmm. Unfortunately, I don't think this will help me until I get something to plug in here. Perhaps? Okay, this drawer is locked, as is this one. Well, that's interesting. I mean, at least we found that. Yeah, it's dirty in there, it's not coming out. Nothing moves in there either, so we move on. On to the next one. This, does this? This doesn't look like it moves either. I love the idea, like, for sequential discovery puzzles such as this, one big part of the fun is the discovery part. 
and that's always been my favorite part of the puzzles is something to discover so when you peel off something like this you're like oh, here we go we've discovered something and we have this magnet attracted okay now I'm not sure if that's intentional but we do have the magnet being attracted to certain numbers looks like 23 here here looks like 32 maybe or maybe it's 12. Definitely 12. What if it has, what if it has something to do with the legs? Oh. This one seems to unscrew. Oh, oh let's go. come out aha uh -huh. exactly what we were looking for oh and it says one here hello there's the digit one right there as well as a magnet there why is there a magnet there a magnet and a spring why would there be a magnet there? So we got these, and I think we know where this goes. This should go over here. Let's have a look. Red and red, black and black. We have a light. Oh! Oh, <laughs> what? That is so cool. Number two. <laughs> wow. Did not expect that. We have also in here, ah, little magnets, little pawn magnets. Uh, okay, these seem to be opposite of this, so I'm guessing, well, maybe, maybe? No. But there, oh, there are so many places that this, these could go, and I'm, I'm guessing. So, remember there were magnets here? Oh wait, actually. Actually, hold on. Okay. What does that do? What numbers do we have here and in what order do they have to be? Oh, okay. We're getting somewhere at least. Maybe it unlocks the other drawer. So we have one and two. We have these things up here as well. And so the numbers here, we have 12, 29, 72, 35. Or 35, 12, 72, 29. 35, three plus five is eight. 12, 1 plus 2 is 3, 7 plus 2 is 9, and 2 plus 9 is 11. False. Hmm. And this says 2 on it. I think now's about time that we start figuring this side out. There's a landslide after that first thing. We start getting more and more clues, which uh, hopefully help us solve this puzzle. There's a magnet in here for some reason. Are these lights? Just checking to see if any of the lights light up here. What would those numbers have to do with anything? I think we know for a fact that these go on here. I'm willing to take that 
guess because there are only four magnets and they fit perfectly on those numbers so those numbers are significant the order of which is not apparent and the value of which i don't understand 35 these only go up to 12 which is why i made the assumption that you should add them together there are more than 30 there are less than 35 letters in the alphabet so it has nothing to do with that lights here did not illuminate light back here is still on this drawer still needs to be opened i don't understand the reason for the magnet because there is no magnet under there was it to simply hold those two plugs so they wouldn't rattle around could be remember craig thibodeau's puzzle i had to reverse drawer sometimes in order to unlock other things interesting oh what if i got it all wrong what if these ones oh, this is you probably already told me this in the comments what if these ones are where it starts? I've been counting like this the entire time. I've been going one, two, three. What if it's one because that's where the one is and that's why you put those ones there. So let's try this. Let's say these are respectively these, right? So the top left one would be this one, which would be three. So we go one, two, three. Uh, top right one would be eight. It's 35, so three plus five would be eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. That's 11. Two, three, wait. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And the last one would be nine. It would be 72, so nine. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, not it. I mean, it would make sense that those were the corners, so maybe I just got that wrong. So let's try this again. Three, so one, two, three. Let's go 11, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No. I believe I'm onto something. Try this again. Ah, whoa! Let's go! Let's go. All right, so we have a giant <laughs> magnet here and we have this little bit of wire. Here we go. Yes, sir. Now, this this little bit of wire, we all know. <laughs> Look, number three, there we go. This little bit of wire definitely goes here. We have this. Oh, look at that. Let's turn this around real quick. Uh, these came out. Oh, so sick. Ugh. What the heck is this? What is this? Cogwheels. <gasps> Cogwheels go on top. Oh my God, this is so sick. Okay, so, oh, this is getting better and better. I'm really excited. <laughs> we have letters on these things. Are they all the same? Let me just check. So how do we know which ones go on which? Oh, the number of cogs. One. The number of, sorry, the number of things. Uh, so we have uh, this one, then it goes this one. And again, I don't know which order. And then this one. And then this one. Very cool. Uh, what does that give us? So first of all, let's play around with these wires here. Uh, okay, okay. So they're gonna give us a word here. Is that it? What if the word is alpha, as in, as in alpha? What if we have to 
find the word alpha. A, A L. How does that work? How do you spell anything with this? It's really mesmerizing, though, isn't it? How would you spell anything with this? A L P H. I'm not sure what that gives us, but that's what I spelt up there. Let's go back to the wires. <laughs> Let's try to light these babies up. So we'll try A. Why does it only go up to G as well? Am I supposed to spell something? I mean, there could be so many possibilities here. Because it gives me, it gave me that tool with a magnet the same time it gave me those wires. So there's gotta be some type of, so if I spell alpha here, A-L-P-H, I spell alf, the letters that are connecting perhaps are what we have to go for. And the letters connecting here, C and A, C and A, no, because other than that, it's, there's an R, there's an H, and there's an I, all of which are not found on that diagram. <gasps> oh, these little dots. Be F, E, I, B, or F, E, C, A. Wait, maybe alpha has to be like this. A, L, P, H. Now the A, that makes sense to me. If you hold it this way, oh, well, maybe it's backwards. Maybe it should be A-L-P-H. So I know that these cog wheels have to spell a word, and then I'm guessing that word is gonna give me some combination of letters to use this wire with. I mean, this, it's, I guess it's just about finding what that word is and what the orientation of these wheels are and what the order of these wheels are. And there's definitely something I'm missing. Aha. There it is. Three, six, four, two, and then E, B, and F, G. Three, six, four, two. Three, six, four, two. Oh, the wheels maybe? Three, six, four, two. Three, six, four, two. Aha. Six, four. We're gonna spell alpha again, or alf rather. Three, six, four, two. Boom. So, E, B, F, G. F, G. No. And we're F meets G right here. Nope. Oh. Oh. We've got a light. I tried C, B, D, F. All right, let's try another one here. Because uh, these, when I when I turn these, I don't know if you can see that on that camera, but there are letters here, and I spelt the word ALF, A-L-P-H, A-L-P-H, and by turning them now, they give me different letters, like here, D-E-F-E. -E. Let's try that. D-E-F-E. No. How about this one? E B F G. Let's try that. E B F G. No. And I will verify once again F D B G. And I think that's the one I had. F D B G. E C G A. Oh, there we go. We got two. E C G A. How did I miss that last time? Okay, let's go to the next one. F D B G. F D B G. F D B G. Yes, got it. And the last one, probably this one. E B F G. E B F G. D E F E. Yeah, all four. Whoa. Let's go. We have the key. What was this then? What was this for then? If 
feel like the code on this thing was kind of useless then. We didn't really use it. Let's open the box. Boom. There's nothing inside. Well, the box is open, but there's nothing inside. I was hoping for a little bit of a good job for doing the puzzle, but honestly, I've had the most fun solving this puzzle. Uh, a perfect mix of technology and just, you know, these mechanisms, these drawers that shoot out. I mean, so much fun. The discovery here is insane. Really, really happy with this. Extremely happy. Still looking for a secret prize. <laughs> Oh, well, that was great. Now we got to put it back together. That's right. Okay. So let's start with closing the box, locking it up. We had drawer number four pop out, which is this one here. This one goes there. This drawer goes here. Boom. Locked in. Now, obviously, drawer number three, which is this one. Yes. And what did this one have in here? This one had the wire and the magnet. That's right, the wire and the magnet. Roll that wire up. Had the big magnet here, Ooh. Big magnet. This goes in drawer number three. We got drawer number two, which had tiny colored magnets. Like I would do this puzzle again, just because of how fun it was to play with. This is drawer number two. We can take out these things here, which would make drawer number two eject. Uh, the plate can go back here. In drawer number one, we had these, and this was locked in there. Wow, the reset on this is quite easy, which is always so much fun. It, it makes you want to let your friends play with the puzzles, because when the puzzles are too complicated to put back, and they actually, like, you know, you're racking your brain too much, then you, you really just don't want to take them out of their uh, initial state. This one, however, totally fine because I'm very confident that I could solve it pretty quickly at this point, which is fun. You got little magnets attached here, I think. Yeah, boom, look at that. How satisfying is that? Watch this. Boom. <laughs> Imagine if every screw did that. The Alpha Enigma box. Wow, uh, a delight, a pleasure, an amazing an amazing, amazing puzzle. This runs around $1,000. Um, honestly, personal opinion, as far as puzzles go and the puzzle market, obviously puzzles uh, are, are a lot of money, especially custom ones. Um, and I would I would have happily paid two or $3,000 for a puzzle of this quality. So very happy about that. Well, hot bang. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is the impossible box solved. Total solve time, I would say probably why does it say April Fools? Hey, there we go. This is a late April Fools joke. The best April Fools joke are after April Fools. This was a super fun puzzle. Probably the most fun I've had solving a puzzle in a while. I could I can't say enough good things about this. I highly recommend checking it out if he has any left. I messaged him and he did say he's working on another puzzle, but for now I think uh, that's about it. So I don't know, go bombard him with orders if he has anything left. Guys, thanks for watching. Hit the like button if you enjoy this video and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.